How to back up the registry on your Windows computer. This is advised if you are going to make or planning to make any changes whatsoever to the registry of a system. Uh, if, if you're following instructions on the internet to, to alter a registry key, we advise back up. Back up before you do so. Uh, the registry itself is a complex uh, database of binary codes which often doesn't make an awful lot of sense to the human eye. So back up. First of all, to launch the registry editor, at the bottom of the screen where it says type here to search, we simply type in reg edit and the registry editor is there. So we can go ahead and open that up with administration uh, privileges. Another way if the type here to search is not present, you can open this from Windows PowerShell or from command prompt. The same, uh, we, we simply type in reg edit and enter that and here is our registry editor. To back up the entire registry, we simply make a selection so there's nothing selected and we go for file and export. From here, fairly self-explanatory, we're going to save this to our desktop. We can save this to a USB stick or some external drive. So we want to give it a name, we'll call it Reg Backup uh, and we'll give it some sort of ID ABC so that we can identify it. So we go ahead and save that and we see that it's saved. It might take a few seconds to do this. It's saved on our desktop here. It's still saving um, and it's saving to the desktop. To bring that in, repeat or rather reverse the process file and import and you can import and restore the registry should anything go wrong. Another precautionary measure, perhaps, if you are planning on making any changes at all to the registry, we do advise also, uh, for all the time it takes, create a system restore point on your computer. To do so, start menu, we can simply go ahead and type system protect. And as we do that, we'll see create a restore point. We simply open this up and on this particular machine, we see that the create button is grayed out. So we have to enable that. So we want C drive, configure, we're gonna switch it on, turn on system protection, apply that. And now we can create a system re restore point and we're gonna call it something. So we'll just call it ABC1234 or something like that and go ahead and create the restore point. If anything goes wrong, you have a safety net in place. That's it. This video is part of a series called Straight to the Point Tutorials. How to's in Windows without all the faff. Computrain.